Welcome to Humphreys of Henley TV, Countryside Concierge at its finest, and a wonderfully warm welcome to the beautiful Stoner Park, a magnificent manor house set in amazing parkland right in the heart of the Chiltern Hills. We are so lucky to have Stoner right on our doorstep because not only is it absolutely beautiful, they also host some incredible events throughout the year from Supercar Sunday through to the uh, Country Homes and Interiors Fair in, in November. We're going to do a couple of episodes and in this first one we're going to talk about some of the incredible history that this house and the, and the family have been part of. The Stoner family have lived at Stoner Park for the, what we know to be 850 years and possibly even longer. It has been, the family has been part of some of the most incredible historical events throughout, uh, throughout history from, uh, from the Reformation forwards. The first recorded member of the family to live here was Robert de Stenora in the late 12th century and he established the family, um, uh, family base here and for the next three centuries the family and the estate thrived and prospered. They fought in great battles, they held high office and were a really influential family across the country. However, the fortunes of the Stoner family and the estate are very closely aligned to the fortunes of the Catholic faith in this country. And when Henry VIII passed his Act of Supremacy, forming the Church of England in the 1530s, um, things started to change quite, quite dramatically. The Stoners have held on to their unwavering Catholic faith throughout history and this was no different and they were horribly penalised for it. They lost the majority of their estates, they were heavily, heavily taxed. Their unwavering Catholic faith I think kept them strong through all of those very difficult times. They were strong supporters of um, St Edmund Campion um, and gave him protection and, and housed him here in, in secret while he published some rather controversial pamphlets. Their association with him did lead to um, several members of the family being imprisoned in the tower. But because they were never disloyal to the crown, they were just loyal to their faith, the family has survived and is still living here today, for which we're all, all absolutely delighted. The Catholic Emancipation Act in 1829 changed the fortunes again and the third Lord Camoys absolutely threw himself into public life once again with his uh, newly, newly restored freedoms. And the current Lord Camoys served as Lord Chamberlain to Her Majesty to the Queen until the year 2000 and William, his son, uh, served in the Foreign and Commonwealth Office. So they are very much part of um, English public life, British public life, again, as, as they should be. The Stoner family has also even contributed, in a small way, to the special relationship between Great Britain and the US. In 1911, Ralph Stoner married Mildred Sherman, who was one of the daughters, who was the daughter of one of the founders of Brown's University. The family bond continues to this day and is incredibly strong and uh, William and his father very proudly talk about the relationships between the two families. Today it is wonderful to see three generations of the Stoner family living in, in the house and the estate and the family are thriving in very different ways than in, in previous centuries but in ways that are going to secure the future of, of the estate. It is wonderful to see three generations of the Stoner family living here and bringing their own history and their own stories. And this fabulous manor house, um, which is the oldest member of the family, will learn yet more secrets and stories as, as they grow up. And as a visitor, you feel the sense of history at every turn. But the wonderful thing is you receive the warmest welcome and it's the most fabulous place to come and see. So well worth experiencing for yourself. In the next Stoner episode, we will be talking all about the things to do when, uh, when you visit. Look forward to seeing you next week.